list of games here. A um, little bit different at the moment. Um, as you can see, I'm on old school RuneScape. Um, I wanted to uh, run a series on here uh, alongside my RuneScape 3 content. Now, for those of you that haven't seen it, my RuneScape 3 content is uh, an uh, hardcore Iron Man, and I'm trying to get to rank 1 on the official leaderboards. Now, this is Dead Man mode, which is only on old school RuneScape, and I want to try and get to rank 1 in this game. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, Dead Man mode has increased XP rates. However, uh, you can be attacked nearly anywhere. And also, when you die, um, not only do you lose, I think you lose the 10 most valuable stacks in your bank, so not items, stacks. So if you have a stack of 10, you know, room 200 swords, that counts as one slot that's going. So very, very, very dangerous. So for this, the main sort of um, thing I'll be focused on is obviously trying to get my combat level up because I want to look dangerous. I don't want people to attack me. I want to look threatening, so to speak. Uh, furthermore, if you get scuttled uh, by attacking someone um, and then someone kills you, you actually lose your levels um, except for uh, you can protect, I believe it's five levels, but it might be three, um, that you can protect and then, then they won't drop. So this is interesting because the people that are at the top of the leaderboard can be knocked down from where they are. So it's not just a case of me trying to race up to, you know, that I'm also going to be trying to knock people down so you know towards the end of this sort of series to get to rank one I am going to have to be killing the people at the top which I think will make some very interesting um, content. Now you get six hours I believe it's six hours of immunity uh, which I am currently wasting um, but I'm going to use that to get up some sort of starter levels. Um, I think I'm going to use it mainly on skilling levels um, because obviously there's, oh yeah, I never mentioned, there's no grand exchange either. So it's a, a, just, you can trade with people, but no one really wants to give you fair deals in this game mode. And uh, because I've not been playing it, I don't really know what the price of things are, you know, in this mode. So I'm essentially going to be playing it as an Iron Man uh, and just getting everything for myself. So with no further ado, I'm going to be skipping the tutorial, which I believe you can only do in Hardcore Iron Man. Go to the mainland now. And I think I want to head to Gnome Stronghold to start getting up my agility. Uh, I'm not sure how high I'm going to get it. Probably, probably only to. Oh, here we go. No, I do still have six hours of protection. I didn't waste any of it. That's good. So you'll be able to see. There we go. 150 XP from there for one obstacle. And uh, you'll see over here. Uh, if I just click down my XP, um, it goes up very, very fast. Um, I think it's five times normal rate. Um, I might be. Can I not drop this down? No. Um, I think I only need 10. I think at 10 you go somewhere else, do you? At 10 agility. Horses. Yeah, drain our villagers next. I'm going to get it up a bit higher though, just uh, whiz around here um, for a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to get some beginning skills up. I'll definitely have to do some fishing and cooking because obviously. Uh, at, at the moment, I can't. Uh, I've got no food for fighting things. Um, but I also want to prioritise. I think mining and smithing, because it will be really important to uh, be able to make runite items and then high out them. I think that's going to be my main way of making money. So, without uh, further ado, I'm going to pause here and um, 
after I've done a bit of agility training, I'll come back to you with uh, the, the level I get to and um, we'll see where we go from there. So see you guys in a, in a minute. Okay guys, I got up to 30 agility. I'm now just pickpocketing men, trying to get a bit of starting GP. I think that might be a little bit loud, hang on. There we go. So I'm not really aiming for a thieving level as such, I just want a little bit of GP. For those who don't play um, old school RuneScape, um, you don't just get the money straight up, you get these uh, coin pouches, uh, but you still get three uh, gold pieces per one like before. Which is very good. I think when I start getting low on health, what I'll do is I will uh, head to the general store and sell a lot of the stuff that I don't need. Um, well, I suppose I could, I could keep most of it. Um, I think it's important for me just to get as much XP as possible. So whatever I can get, you know, a bit of magic XP. Don't want to die early on because that would be embarrassing. Um, I think if you die due to your own causes, so to speak, uh, I don't think you lose any levels. But I'd really rather not try that out. <laughs> oh yeah, this is uh, this is some pretty good XP. Um, but with no grand exchange, it's going to be pretty hard to sell things, obviously. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to work all that out yet. But I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll find a way to, to sort it out. But um, selling things is going to be going to be a tricky one. Because um, you don't, as I say, you don't really want to trade with players. And I particularly don't really want to trade with players because I don't want to help anyone by mistake. Because uh, obviously it's... Uh, in, as far as I'm concerned, it's me versus them in this little uh, this little uh, game I've got going on because it is a race to the high scores for me. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Used up all the runes except for ten air runes. That's not bad at all. And now I think what we'll do is we'll uh, head over to do a little bit of. Fishing and cooking. Oh, actually, let me get a bit more XP. I don't know why I'm not wielding a sword. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, I'm currently using the um, uh, uh, OS Buddy. Um, it's like a it's like a client. Um, so it's not the old school client, but it's sort of a custom one for old school, if that makes sense. So it's perfectly allowed uh, and everything, which is good. Um, but you get a couple of extra little features. Um, I don't know what they all are yet, um, as I haven't really played old school in a long time. So I think when it comes to the player killing portion of this, I'm going to be uh, embarrassingly awful. But we shall see. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop a few trees, make a few fires, fish a few fish, and cook them up so I've actually got some food. Do a little bit of combat, I'll see you guys back before too long. Um, I think I want to do some mining as well before, um, before I lose my protection. I want to try and get my mining up so that I can access the motherload mine. I think that's my goal. Oh, how much health do I have? One, two. Bit risky, we'll just make sure I don't die real quick. And I will see you guys back in a minute once I have a few more levels and a bit more progress to show you. So see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, we're back. I've got up 
quite a few levels since last time. Uh, total level 202 and still rising. Just getting uh, a little bit of bronze smelted up so I can uh, make some things. Uh, I'm going to head over to uh, Varrock. Uh, see if I can make enough money to buy some runes or something. I think I want to prioritise magic uh, to start off with on this account. I think that would be really useful. So I'm going to head over to Varrock now. Um, I'll do a bit of wood cutting uh, and fire making on the way to make sure I'm definitely 15 in those skills. And I shall see you guys um, over there um, when I've got something else sort of significant that I'm going to be doing. Okay, I decided on my way to Barrock, guys, I was going to do uh, do the Stronghold of Security. Just uh, get my 10k. I've got uh, one more floor to do. I'm not going to do the very bottom floor because uh, you just get the loots from there and there's no point really doing those. Here's my stats at the moment, 225 total level, so that's not too bad. And I'll see you guys when I get to Barrock. Okay guys, I'm here in Barrock. I've got my Staff of Air, which uh, should give me some much better magic bonuses. And I'm going to just check now to see if uh, uh, any of this wizard stuff will give me any bonuses. Uh, I'll try it. Mm, I think this gives a bonus. Let me double check. No, it doesn't. Okay, that was a waste. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this doesn't give a bonus either. No, that's fine. At least I look the part. And I need a hammer as well. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is smithing myself full bronze armor um, so that I can uh, splash my magic up because I need to get it high enough to be able to teleport around the game because obviously dead man is incredibly dangerous and I really don't want to die and lose any levels so that's the plan uh, make myself full bronze and that'll be job done then so I'll see you guys once I've obviously mined some more and uh, smelted it up together so see you guys in a little bit Okay guys, I'm just showing you the high scores page for the dead man mode. So as you can see, uh, a skill I've not trained at all, there's nearly 500,000 people that have registered um, to be a dead man. So this is my total level here, 266, my total XP, 80,000, which puts me at just uh, a little better than a hundred thousandth uh, in the game. So obviously my aim is to become number one. I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, mining off camera, I think. Or perhaps a little bit of money making. Um, I think I'm going to do some of the agility pyramid to make my money which will be really really useful because when you get to the top you get 10k so I'll do a bit of fishing beforehand so that I can uh, survive while I'm there because you do take damage both from being in the desert and from failing obstacles so I'll probably get maybe 100k or so in pyramids and then I'll start doing some serious mining because as you can see where are we? Uh, I'm 38 mining. When I get to 41, I can use a rune out pick. You can buy one, um, but they're, I think they're like 40k to buy it from a shop, which is what I'll, I'll have to do, as this is essentially like a Iron Man mode. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this. Um, I hope you like the new series, and if you do, please like this video. See you in the next one.